Good afternoon. This is Joe Mosen for SuccessProgress.com. Thanks for stopping by. It's our goal to provide relevant, meaningful content to our user community. Today we're going to profile the Total Money Makeover, a proven plan for financial fitness written by Dave Ramsey. Bottom line, buy this book. Financial stress is the biggest threat to our nation right now. People are running scared every day as unemployment increases, the value of a dollar decreases, and high-paying jobs are disappearing. Dave outlines everything you need to do to go from bankruptcy to financially fit. If you've not read or heard it, Dave, you'll like him because he brings a southern, down-home common sense to his work. My grandmother was from Georgia and had a fifth grade education. She had more southern common sense than anybody I've ever met. Dave is the same way. Why is this important to me? Look at this and you'll see why it is critical to get control of your money and finances. Divorce rates in this country are north of 50% and the number one cause is financial stress. Dave talks about women having a security gland for secure finances. When the future is uncertain in terms of living, education, and family, women tend to be more affected than men. This inherent difference causes stress and thus divorce. Dave discusses how to handle this a bit in this book, but in much more detail in his Financial Peace University. Whatever happened to people's word? There were 1,593,081 bankruptcy cases in 2010. I think my grandparents are happy to be dead because people in this country have lost their self-respect and have huge entitlement problems. I don't like making sweeping judgments and I understand some bankruptcies are inevitable due to medical issues or trauma. I have no problem with that but there are a ton of lazy people thinking they can just wipe the slate clean and start over. Worse than that, they've done it more than once. This is like a part-time Catholic cheating on his wife but asking for forgiveness every Sunday at Mass each week. He figures he can just start over. That's a bad thing. This book is packed with excellent information that, if followed, is designed to get you out of debt and financially fit. For the sake of time, I'll highlight certain sections and the myths that Dave outlines. Number one, financial fitness is 20% how-to and 80% behavior. The concepts are really simple, but it is the behavior that is hard. I can outline a diet and fitness plan for anybody in five minutes that will produce results. The question is, will it produce results for you, i.e., will you do the work? Shocking stat, 90% of Americans buy stuff they cannot afford. Number two, emergency fund. How many people have three to six months worth of funds available in case of an emergency? I was really lucky to grow up with a financially astute father. I thought I was five years old again reading Dave's book because all the things taught in the book were taught to me at an early age. I realized that not everybody is that lucky. The horrible statistic is that most Americans are two weeks away from financial collapse. Golden rule, the borrower is always slave to the lender. Dave outlines a myth that is very real. The myth is that if you loan money to a friend or a relative, you're helping them. In reality, if you loan them money, the relationship will become strained or destroyed. The only relationship that would be enhanced is the kind resulting from one party being the master and the other party being the servant. Dave has a mindset saying that says you need to be gazelle intense when it comes to your financial fitness. You need to recognize that it is your behavior and your focus that will dictate if you become financially fit. If you're in a financial mess, then his how-to steps outlined in the book work. Number one, create an emergency fund. Number two, tackle your debt. Three, save 15% of your money. Four, eliminate all payments. Five, give. And six, imagine a life with no payments and all income. Victory. These six simple steps are easy to understand but hard to follow. As you know, most people will not follow these steps. This is why people gamble and play the lottery. One of Dave's rants, which I agree with, is the lottery is a tax on the poor and people who can't do math. Remember, where focus goes, energy flows. If you're in a financial mess, then I recommend you start with this book and change your mindset to fix the problem. To live like no one else so you can later live like no one else is a brilliant saying. This basically means that you need to be disciplined and sacrifice now to have financial freedom and security later in life. Remember that if you're nervous about your finances now, it'll only get worse as you get older. Most people do not think about their health and energy until they start to lose them. If you have to work, into your 70s because you don't have money, then that's a horrible thing. If you work in your 70s because you love it and don't have to, then it is a blessing. Which do you want? Hope you found this short video summary useful. The key to any new idea is working in your daily routine until it becomes habit. Habits form in 21 days. 
One thing you can take away from this book is look in the mirror. Denial affects you like poison. If you have financial problems, then admit it and make a commitment to do something about it now. Schedule 15 minutes every day towards your financial education to fix the problem now. If you enjoyed the video, then please don't hesitate to pass it along. If you want more detail, click on the link and purchase Dave's book, Total Money Makeover. Thanks for watching and have a great day.